morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart real quick, and you can see on Friday, the, uh, the upper band ride ended. There was no interaction with the yellow line there, the upper band. Prior day low was taken out. You're seeing a little bit of follow-through in the overnight, although what's concerning, if you are a bear, is what you've done in the overnight is you had two looks at the new weekly pivot, 24.64.43, defended over the course of the Globex. Now reaching up, trying to take out the Globex high, which is basically where we opened at 70 half. If it takes out 70 half, it can run, uh, retest the high from Friday, uh, 24.75.25. The key to today, the key to tomorrow is, are we going to trade above weekly pivot? Or are we going to trade below weekly pivot? As I zoom this chart out here, here's the weekly pivot from last week. The best they could do was 48 on Tuesday. Okay, You can see what happens over the course of the latter part of the week when weekly pivot wants to be support or wants to be a level that doesn't even want to be interacted with. Uh, we're interacting with it already this week. So far, it's support. The number one job for the Bears is to get it below the weekly pivot and leave it there and try to push it back down and take out last week's low at 24.48. If they can do that, it opens up areas like 41, which is your daily mid-band. If it can do that, then we can really have a decision point there at the daily mid-band about whether this wants to continue to be a buy dips market. So the bottom line is the day and the week are going to be defined by the weekly pivot. So um, I would expect some kind of a further retrace this morning into a morning dip. We'll see what the dip buyers want to do. And if the bears are going to stand up and try to defend Globex high, uh, which is either here or wherever we end up after this. If we retrace off the open, they defend weekly pivot again then the next pop is the one that the bears have got to defend, create a lower low, get below the weekly pivot if the bears are going to win the day. If the bulls are going to win the day, you'll start seeing stairs higher from here. Whether that can translate into a new high or not, that might be a bridge too far. I'm not looking for a gigantic range today. I'm looking for a fairly sleepy summer Monday. Um, I mean, it could go either way, but I'm, you know, I, I am, uh, I'm leaning towards something uh, more compressed. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. I will catch everybody for some videos, Instagram, Twitter throughout the day. Check us out. If you trade this stuff all the time and you want to come in and see what it's all about all the time, if you want me talking in your ear like this all day long, come sign up for a free trial. We'd love to meet you. All right, I'll check everybody out for the midday update. Trade them well. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook. And join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.